let's start our interview. Okay, assalamualaikum. Hello. Assalamualaikum to uh, Teacher Nick. Uh, I'm Imran. I'm from Unicel. Uh, so tonight, I want to do an online interview with you. Okay. okay. So my first Habis question. Habis wajah. Waalaikum salam uh, warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. Hmm. Can I proceed? Yes, you can. Okay. okay. So, uh, our first question that I will okay. ask you. Okay. Uh, hmm. Why did you decide to become an English educator? Okay, first of all, I love to uh, read English books when I was, since I was in primary school, I think. And then from there, I think, when I look around, especially my teachers at, at that time, um, I'm thinking, oh, when I grow up to be a teacher. So from there, so it means that from my, um, uh, when I was in primary school, I know that one day I want to be a teacher. Oh, that's good. Mm. All right. Mm. So, uh, then the second question. At the university level, what courses mm. did you take back then when you were in uni? Actually, I start with CJ, you know. And okay. then after, I think, um, um, I think around 2000 something, I can't remember the exactly the year one. Uh, I proceed with the um, next level, a uh, Bachelor of Education. Education. Hmm. Uh, I, think was, I think it was maybe 12 years back or 15 years back. I'm not sure about the uh, the year. Yeah. Okay. 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 Hmm. That's good to hear. Then the second, eh, no, the third question. The third question from us. How many hmm. holders did you have? Like uh, degree, this diploma? One. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, first of all, I have sijil. That one from Ibda, Jita Keda. And then they converted sijil to diploma. Okay. okay. And then, uh, just I told you just now, um, I uh, I further my study and then um, uh, with bachelor. Mm. Uh, that's great. I, 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 don't, I can't remember exactly the day, the year or so. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's still great. So, no. Mm. During my uh, time, uh, no, a bachelor took away. Uh, during my time, that was um, in 2000, let me see, uh, 2003. Hmm. Uh, we have just certificate only for teachers. Masa tu kan mak ke guru wan, if you still remember. Oh, hmm. uh, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Hmm, hmm. Uh, then the fourth question. After you okay. graduated, okay. in which school did you started to teach first? What What is your first school? My first school was in Kelantan, SK Ulu Kusia. But that time, with my CJ only. But after mm. I graduated, um, my school is SK Section 7 until now. Oh, okay. Then mm. the fifth question. How long mm. have you been in the teaching field? How many years? Okay. This year, I think uh, it is my 29th years of service. Okay. 29th, darling. Mm. Okay, thank you. Then uh, the sixth mm. question. In a classroom, okay. how did you design mm. your oral and oral materials, uh, listening and speaking? How do you create? We use the textbook as our guideline. And from there, um, we create the lesson. But we use the textbook, okay, as our guideline. Okay, from there, we expand. And then, it depends on our pupil also. You see how it goes on. You have the planning, but at the same time, you need to adjust accordingly, okay? Because sometimes, uh, you this way, but sometimes it doesn't work that way. So, you have to adjust accordingly to your pupil time. Hmm. I get it. Okay, then the seven question from us. Okay. Uh, how mm. do you create and what kind of method do you use to create tests or assessments for your students? Okay, as you know, we don't have exams, right, right now. Mm. We just have assessments, what we call PBD. Okay, as for me, as myself, okay. For every topic, let's say we have uh, finished for the topic, okay, um, 
we have done the topic, let's say, for two weeks or three weeks. And then after we have done with the topic, we straight away, I do straight, I, uh, straight away the test, the assessment, okay? Do you know why? Because I want to check my pupils' ability, or either they understand or not the lesson. Okay, if, if, um, if, if I um, realize that they still did not get the lesson, so I repeat that skill or that part. Okay. okay. That's good to hear. Uh, then the uh, eighth question from us. How will you as uh, an English educator manage your classroom? Okay, for me, uh, I set three rules for them. Uh, this rule, you need to tell them uh, the first day you come to the class, okay? Yeah. As for me, I have three simple rules. Which one? Which one? Uh, the first one, you need to focus on the lesson. Since I'm teaching primary school, they tend to like to play with the things, with the, their hands, their fingers. Hmm. So I need to tell them, okay, no playing around with your hands, with your fingers, with your things. You need to focus on me. Your eyes should be on me all the time. Okay? Secondly, um, I ask them to, for them to hand in their work on time. Okay. Make sure every time you hand, uh, you hand in to me. Okay. All right. And the third one, okay. Um, sometimes they're quite naughty, right? So... I like uh, I make sure that they do not use harsh words in the classroom, okay? Mm. Because some of the people they tend to say, <laughs> okay, mm. ah, mm. ah, yes. So as a teacher, uh, I'm making sure that they do not use that word in my classroom, especially. Okay. okay. So you need to you need to have some rules with them, okay? Mm. By the uh, the first day you just enter the class, you need to tell them the rules, okay? So they know what to expect from you, okay? Hmm. Hmm. Then the nine yes. question from us. Before you conduct huh. a class, what kind of preparation huh. did you do? Like lesson plan? Okay, first of all, of course, definitely we need, we need to have the lesson plan. All right. So uh, with, with the lesson plan, it comes with, you know, the props, everything. So you have to have that things. Get ready with them. Okay. So for me, as myself, mm, I like to use a ball, you know, a paper ball, which is very simple, but they like it very much. For example, for the introduction part, you throw the ball to them and ask them to Oh, yeah. We had it back in uh -huh. our class. Yes. So it's very easy to get them um, we need them to listen to us, right? Mm. So it's one way of getting them uh, their attention to us. Mm. Mm. Got it. Okay, mm. so this mm. is the last question, the 10th question from okay. us. Okay. Can you give mm. any suggestions or advice for us as an upcoming English educators? All right, okay. Mm. First of all, you need to have plenty or zillions of patience. Because nowadays, pupils, they do not like to learn. I've noticed this. Mm -mm. Maybe because of some factors like they like to play games. Mm. But uh, this is um, my pupils. I'm talking about my pupils, okay? They do not like to learn. Okay, mostly. I would like to say maybe 60% uh, of them. Okay, so they tend to play a lot. They tend not to listen to you. Mm, they tend to be... Um, not so focused. Not naughty in the class. Oh, actually, they want to... Yes, actually, they want to... They want us to listen to them, actually. That's one way of asking us to listen to them, but not at that moment. You know what I mean or not? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They it. want to have our attention, actually disturbing the class. Uh -huh. So you need to have a lot of patience, and then you need to have certain ways how to gain their, you know, their trust to us as teachers. Um, I think if you are able to do that, um, they trust you enough, they will listen to you. If they love you, definitely they will listen to you. Attentively, uh, but you have to you have to get their attention first. Uh, oh, okay. That's the key point. Okay. Okay. I guess that's all from us. Thank you for having us. Okay, you. you are welcome.